The flight time, t minutes, between two cities can be modeled by a normal distribution with a mean of 75 minutes and a standard deviation of sigma minutes. A. Given that 3% of the flight time are longer than 82 minutes, find the value of sigma. If a mean or standard deviation of both are known, we will use a standardized normal distribution and a z value or z score. And z is uh, x minus the mean divided by uh, standard deviation, and z is distributed normally with parameters uh, 0 and 1, and it's called the standardized normal distribution. How it works? It is given that in terms of t, the probability that uh, t is greater than 82, and it means that its uh, area to the right is 2% to 0.02. And, and we choose inverse normal area. My calculator always asks me the area to the left from this value. So I need enter 0 0.98. Mu is uh, 0, sigma is 1. It means we use standardized normal distribution and hence we get a z value, which is uh, 2.0537 and so on. And what is the link with our t value? It's t, or x in general, it's 82, because we consider probability t to be greater than 82. So it's 82 minus mu, mu is 75, here divided by the unknown sigma. And hence we get just an equation with respect to sigma, which can be easily solved. So it becomes just 7 divided by the answer and it's uh, sigma is 3.41 to three significant figures and notice that if uh, mu and sigma are unknown there will be given two probabilities and you can get uh, similarly two equations with respect to mu and sigma and hence uh, you just solve a simultaneous uh, system of uh, uh, simultaneous equations, a system of equations uh, with respect to mu sigma and uh, just so, uh, solve for mu and sigma. So if, uh, for example, uh, given probability and uh, these 82 uh, should be found and uh, mu and sigma uh, are given, you use inverse normal uh, and uh, mu sigma area, my calculator always asks to the uh, left, so enter 0 0.98, and we can find this 82. But if mu or sigma or both are unknown, we use a standardized normal distribution, we enter mu is uh, uh, 0, sigma is 1, area, and get that firstly, then we get equation, or equations and so to find the required mu, sigma or both. The next. B. Find the probability that a randomly selected flight will have a flight time of more than 80 minutes. The flight time is again about uh, this random variable t which is distributed normally with parameters 75 and found sigma so here must be variance over right standard deviation squared, 3.41 squared, and we need just probability that t is greater than 80. It's usual normal distribution to find probability, so we choose normal CDF, and we need uh, from 80 to plus infinity, so lower is 80, up, uh, let it be 10,000, mu is 75, sigma is 
and it's the answer 0.0718 to 3 significant figure C. Given that a flight between the two cities takes longer than 80 minutes, find the probability that it takes less than 82 minutes. Given, given it says us that it's about conditional probability. Formula for conditional is given in a data booklet. So this question becomes uh, we need the probability that flight time, it's again a random variable t, is less than 82 given that t is greater than 80. And there must be and in the numerator, so it's probability that t is greater than 80 and less than 82 divided by uh, the probability of this given, so probability that t is greater than 80. And it is equal to so we choose again normal CDF to calculate the required probability and lower 80 upper 82 mu sigma are the same and and it's our numerator it's exact and let divide by uh, the exact value of uh, the probability that t is greater than 80 so we divide by this 0 0.71266 and it becomes 0 0.719 0 0.71 9 to 3 significant figures the next on a particular day there are 64 flights scheduled between these two cities define the expected number of flights that will have a flight time of more than 80 minutes notice that in one um, Event flight time is distributed normally, it's our t uh, value. But if uh, there are 64, it uh, says us that it's about binomial. And and let, let y be a random, a random variable, the number the number of flights with a time flight of uh, with a flight time with a flight time of more than 80 minutes and this random variable y is distributed binomially with parameter 64 and uh, probability that uh, one flight has a flight time more than 80 minutes is this value 0 0.0713 and expected value for binomial formula is given in uh, data booklet is just in P, so it's 64 multiplied by 0 0.0713 and 64 multiplied by 0 0.0713 and it's 4.56 It uh, can be decimal because it has theoretical expected value, theoretical number of flights, so it can be decimal, not required to round to the whole number. For some questions, it may be needed to round to the whole number, but here we can write like this as decimal, as usual, to three significant figures for 0.56 flights.
and the next e find the probability that more than six of the flights on this particular day will have a flight time of more than 80 minutes so it's again the same binomial and we need just probability that y more than six strictly greater than six so it means uh, if your calculator allows you may enter the, the lower bound uh, 7 uh, the upper bound 64 and calculate probability for my calculator i need to rewrite as 1 minus probability that y is less or equal than 6 uh, to use uh, the binomial cdf less or equal with binomial cdf so 1 minus binomial cdf less or equal with binomial cdf trial 64 it's n probability it's uh, 0 0.0713 x6 enter and we get the required answer 0 0.170 to see significant figures and that's all for this question